So when it comes to creating a winning pre-market trading plan, there's always three things I like to do. And no, it's not meditating, it's not taking an ice bath, it's not doing all this other stuff you hear people talk about. So I'll be breaking down what those three things are in just a second. And you know, when I first started trading, I would literally just wake up, you know, five minutes before the market opened, and I would dive straight into the charts and just try to place trades. I had no plan in place. And again, it wasn't until I started creating a plan for myself before the market even opened about what my trades were going to be, what I was going to focus on for that day. And once I started doing that, I started becoming a way more profitable trader. So anyways, let's go ahead and go into the computer. I'll show you what those three things are along with the trade recap from the trade that I took today. So as you can see, I ended up taking one trade today, which made me $525. Not my biggest trade, but it was a decent trade for me. And this wasn't possible if I didn't create a pre-market plan for myself. So let's go ahead and go over what that plan was and actually the three things I look for when I actually create a plan. So anyways, like I said, um, I'm not one that, you know, meditates and, you know, does ice baths before I trade. Um, I'm not much of a morning person. Market opens at 7.30 a.m. my time. I usually wake up at around 6.50, so it gives me like 40 minutes to prep, 10 minutes to get ready, and then 30 minutes to actually create my plan. So the first thing I actually do is step number one is I want to have the levels established for the day before the market opens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my Discord group. And as you can see, this is where I share my levels every single day in here. So not only do I do this for myself, but all our members in here can also see my levels as well, maybe to help with their trading plan. So if you guys do want to join our Discord community where I share, you know, my levels on the ES, the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ every single day, this group is completely free to join. It's open to the public. If you guys do want to be a part of it, that'll be the first link in the description below. Now, anyways, as we can see today at 7.16 AM, around 14 minutes before the market open, um, I said, here's a level I'll be watching today, right? So I said 4540 resistance area, 4530 support area. Now, just because I shared my levels, it doesn't mean that I'm gonna short at the resistance area. It doesn't mean I'm gonna go long at the support area. I'm just establishing what those levels are and then I actually create a plan from those levels, all right? So you'll see that in steps two and three. So this is what the S&P 500 actually looked like before the market opened. As you can see, we're in our resistance area and we also had our support area down here, which also lined up with our resistance from yesterday. So as you know, old resistance tends to be new support. That's kind of how I found this level. Plus, obviously, as you can see, we had aggressive buying during pre-market as well. So that's the first thing I want to know is just create simple levels that I'm watching for the day that I can make a plan off of. All right, so if we go back, step number two is gonna be what is the trend slash focus, right? So I always wanna go into the day knowing, okay, I wanna either look for opportunities to go long or I wanna look for opportunities to go short. So I always wanna go into the day before the market opens knowing if I wanna focus on going long or if I wanna focus on going short. Now, obviously that doesn't mean, you know, if the market opens, I'm just immediately gonna go long if I wanna focus on long. I'm gonna look for setups and opportunities for myself to go long. All right, so if we actually look at the chart from today, um, as we can see, the market opened around right here, 7.30 my time, we're in this resistance area, like I just showed, and as you can see, we're on a five minute time frame. Now, if I zoom out here, let me actually move myself. As you can see, the trend was up, right, from yesterday, and also, you know, pretty much all night, all of pre-market, the trend was up. One thing I really like to look at is this five minute moving average. This is a 200 day, five minute moving average. Typically, if price is above this, I wanna look for setups to go long. If we're below it, right, I wanna look for setups to go short. Just like, you know, here, it would have made more sense to go short on this day. Here, we're above it, it made more sense to go long on this day. Obviously, you can get away with, you know, going both long and short in a day like this. But again, I always like to have some kind of focus of whether I wanna go long or short based on the actual trend. So as we can see, right, obviously today before the market open, not only did I know that we had this resistance level right here, we had this support level, but since we're also above this five minute, 200 day moving average, I knew that I wanted to focus on going long. I wanted to look for setups to actually go long. So this brings me to the third step of this. And what that's gonna be is creating a plan based off these two things that I just established for myself. All right, so now I wanna create a plan based off of that. So now I'm gonna go into the plan that I wrote down for myself before the market opened, okay? So as you can see, um, it's right here. It says 914 plan. I said long, but wait for pullback for a good deal, right? Because if we go back to the chart, as we can see at 730, 
we were up in this resistance area still, right? And we we're pretty far away from our levels. So I didn't want to go long in a resistance area, right? That makes no sense. I'm not getting a good deal, right? And for trading, we want to get a good deal. We want to buy it lower so we can sell it at a higher price. Okay, so anyways, going back to my plan, what I said was wait for a pullback for a good deal. And this basically means near the 4530 level, which also lines up with our five minute SMA and VWAP, right? So these are basically confirmations for that good deal that lines up with our level, that lines up with the trend, with everything mentioned, you know, in step number one and two. So anyways, going back here, basically what I was saying is, okay, market open right here. This is kind of all we knew. I wanted to wait for a pullback to this 4530 area, which also lines up with our level, right? So it's in our level. It lines up with our five minute SMA. It's pretty close to VWAP, a little bit below it. And then once we get down here, I wanna see how price reacts, right? I wanna look for some other confirmations to actually get into the trade. All right, so let's go ahead and go into the one minute time frame and kind of go over that. All right, so as you can see, um, you know, market open, let's see. 7.30 my time. So market opened right here. We immediately went up and then we sold off. And then we kind of just chopped around for a while. It was actually really choppy. And as you can see, eventually we got into this level, right? We got into the zone. And based on my plan, this is where I would actually want to enter the trade. Now, what are some confirmations to actually allow me to enter the trade? Well, as you can see, not only did this trade go along with the trend, right? So that's one confirmation. Uh, we were inside the support level. Plus, we're also near the five minute moving average, right? So one minute moving average, not so much, but five minute, as you can see, um, it was literally right there, right to the T there. Okay, and then let me go back to the one minute chart. And as you can see, another confirmation we had was this double bottom pattern, right? So we kind of came into there, we got some buying, and then once we retested it, we dipped down just below this low and this immediately got bought up, right? So you can see some low reversal candles here. And this is actually the most ideal entry you could have got because once we're at this point, right, we pretty much had like four or five confirmations to get in the trade. It lined up with my levels. It lined up with the, you know, what I wanted to focus on, which is going long, it lined up with the trend, right? All the different stuff kind of lined up at the same time. And that's what I want to look for. And obviously, you know, you can take profits at that resistance level or wait for it to break a high, you know, hold some runners, right? Kind of depends on how you trade. But the most important thing is establishing that plan before the market even opens so you know what you're looking for, right? That way when we start, you know, chopping back and forth, you're not you don't feel anxious to get into a trade. You have a plan, you know what you're waiting for, you have levels, you know what the trend is. It makes you stay more patient. And this is why I think it's so important to build a pre-market trading plan. And again, once I started doing this, I started taking way more profitable trades. I started being way more consistent and not just taking trades because I was bored, right? I had a clear plan, I had a clear focus and I actually felt like I knew what I was doing. So I would highly recommend you guys do this, create a pre-market plan every single day. Don't just wake up right before the market opens and try to trade. Even if you have setups you follow, right? It's still important to make that pre-market plan just to really make sure you know what to focus on. And again, it doesn't have to be some, you know, paragraph long plan. Like I said, I'm not much of a morning person. I'm usually pretty tired in the morning. So I just write something very simple like this. Long, but wait for a pullback for a good deal. Near 4530 level lines up with five minute SMA and VWAP, right? Again, it doesn't have to be complicated. Keep it simple. And I think that you'll find that you'll start trading way better and have more consistency in your winning trades. So anyways, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And like I said before, if you guys want access to my levels every single day um, and kind of my plan, the levels I'm watching for, for the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. Like I said, I share them every single day inside my Discord community. If you guys do want to join this, we'd love to have you in here. Like I said, it's completely free and open to the public. And all you have to do is click on the first link in the description below, or just head over to this link right here. That being said guys, as always, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video with another day trading lesson.